Good evening. Uh, E-Practice Communities Workshop, June 16, 2010. Uh, in the context of this workshop, we have called Roberto Torena from Technoside to uh, an interview with us. Uh, so basically, uh, how would you propose that we could increase in the community space our uh, interactivity, interaction with members, and the overall activity mm -hmm. on e-practice? What would you propose? The in order to rise the, the activity in a community, this uh, community must uh, stir up interest among its community members. This interest may be based on the information that the community members can obtain of this community, but also on the uh, interaction ways that they can use in the community. For example, in the e-accessibility field, there is a lot of uh, research projects, studies, that uh, whose uh, outcomes need to be disseminated. The, the communities have uh, several tools, such as the blogs and the, and the shared content uh, parts that are so interesting for sharing this, these outcomes. It will raise the interest uh, for obtaining information. Also, the blog are so relevant for people trying to, to interact with other experts in order, for example, to discuss uh, burning topics, hot topics, or key issues. Uh, that in e accessibility, there are a lot of themes that are currently discussed among the experts. Uh, in this sense, the blog is also very interesting, uh, a very interesting tool of the e practice communities. Uh, taking to the next step, how could potentially blogging or any other initiative within a practice increase the networking of the members? Because it's all about the members after all. That's mm -hmm. why we're building communities. But we need to make them to actually be interested in community, to join, and mm -hmm. thereafter to contribute, and maybe network with each other. How mm -hmm. we could, could we possibly facilitate this? Okay. Firstly, the, the blog tool is also very interesting for, for, for making networks, for, for interrelationship among the, the community members. But also the organization of workshops, for mm -hmm. example, for obtaining face-to-face -face meetings with the community members are also really relevant. Um, also, only publishing events that you are going to attend, you, you can use this sort of uh, publication or making it public to join, to plan to join with another community members. And this way, not only establish an online network, but also a personal network uh, through these face-to-face meetings. OK. Uh, what are the lessons learned uh, up to this point from your experience as a moderator of the e-accessibility platform within e-practice? Mm -hmm. uh, our lessons that we have learned is that uh, the e-practice uh, portal have a uh, great potentiality mm -hmm. for, for us in our field, for example, have a, a great potentiality in order to be a reference portal for uh, communication, for uh, publication of, of results, for uh, interchange of knowledge, discussions, mm -hmm. and so on. But uh, right now, it has some barriers or improvements that are required in order this potentiality is to be fully exploited. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking forward to your presentation. We're going to listen to you uh, in thank the you. evening. So we're looking forward to it. And thank you again for having this interview with us. Thank you for you.